Hey everybody, it's Chris Buteau with Cleveland Street Mortgage, and today I want to talk about you know what it means to lock your interest rate, and when should you do that? You know, basically, you know when you are applying for a mortgage, the rate that you're going to get and the cost of that rate isn't fixed, isn't guaranteed until you lock in that rate. That's when you tell the lender, yes, I want to lock, um, and the lock has a specific period of time. So if you're in a contract to buy a house and it's going to close in 30 days, you need a lock that's going to take you at least 30 days out. Um, and if you're refinancing, typically you need you know, at least three weeks to 30 days in order to make sure you can, you can finish all the underwriting and close on time. And until you lock that rate, until you tell the lender, okay, I want to lock it based upon today's pricing, that can change day to day and it can get better, it can get worse. Um, and so people wonder, you know, when should I lock that rate? Um, and, and my answer is almost always now. You know, the best time to lock an interest rate is now, assuming you're within that 30 day time frame. And the reason for that is, you know, I always tell my clients, you know, you're, you're financing a house, you're not day trading your mortgage. Um, of course, rates could get better or worse, but there's no real way of knowing which it's going to be. It's, it's kind of like um, if, if you were to set an expectation for yourself to say, okay, I've got one shot to buy a share of Microsoft stock, and I've got one shot at that in the next 30 days, and I have to hit the bottom. You know, what skill set are you going to draw on in order to hit that bottom? And what's the likelihood that you're going to look back 30 days from now and you actually hit that bottom? It's very unlikely. And, and I think it's, it's just not wise in, to try and do that. It could get better. It could get worse. And you could lock in and rates could get better. And you could be you know, sorry that you locked. But there's no real way of predicting that. And again, you're, you're financing your house. And the reason you're in the midst of that transaction to begin with is because the pricing that you saw going into it was reasonable in light of your housing objectives. And it just doesn't make sense to me to, to put that extra stress on yourself and to monitor the markets daily. And that potential risk that you know rates do occasionally get worse, you know, significantly worse in a short period of time. Now that's rare. That only happens when something surprises the market that the market was completely not expecting happens. But it can happen, you know, where something you know surprises the market and then all of a sudden rates get significantly worse over a short period of time. And then your, you know, your, your big cost, your housing costs have changed significantly because you were trying to save, you know, a couple of thousand dollars on the lot cost. So I always recommend do it now, lock it in based upon, you know, what, what's available to you today and put that risk behind you and put that worry behind you and, uh, and, and just get on with your transaction. Thanks so much.